It's a me, a Jenny. You know who's not above average? Jenny Milkowski. <laughs> Jenny is right over here. Hi, here I am. Jenny. And finally, we have Jenny. Wait, am I supposed to be on TV right now? Come so on nice over. To it's nice hair. to meet you. Generally, Hello. at about this time, I'm here. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, it's my turn to do a little traffic. But you know what? I don't really have much to say. Anyone listen to what I say, or Those did you just put tears. me on mute? A little bit of a whisper. Did you hear and then there's me with the opposite, the most unsexy voice that you'll ever hear. I love your voice. <laughs> Old Milky Way, right at San Pet. And no, they're not referring to me, Old Milky, over here. Uh, but very minor. <laughs> and then I see, you know, people being hired. Graduated 2016. Blech. You know you're like really out of shape when you have to run two feet to read a story, and I still can't breathe. I'm like, hold on. Let me like catch my breath here. Just another morning that y'all have depressed me, huh? <laughs> well, let me tell you, uh, I showered last night, got dressed this morning, put on makeup just to tell you. Wow. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, it is the small things that we never yes. feel appreciated for. It's about you time know? you showered, yeah. Okay, I didn't know I was next either. I just stood here at attention. Well, yeah. I am busy, you are. but I will make time for you, you, you at home. Not sure why y'all keep bothering me because I have nothing to tell you. We need a little estrogen running the joint. What exactly did you get awarded for? Saying there's no traffic? Hand me that award. And the Emmy goes to. And the Emmy goes to. <laughs> this is the most uh, transparent reporting that you'll get so, on ooh. local news. Yes. But um, it's a joke. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Okay. Props to you for shouting out the child free by choice. We don't really get enough. You just uh, have to want it. We, <laughs> or not want it. We have to be equally representative on this show. You we know? do. So we've got people with children and we've got the rest of us. Bada bing, bada boom, you've got an easy commute for you. Can we bring that back? I saw Stella perk up. Bada bing, bada boom. I have a feeling you're going to like seeing me today. Not that you shouldn't like seeing me every day. That delay was kicking you in the face right at about Imperial. That's a harsh way to put it. It just came out of my mouth. Of course, the weekend I was going to take my cats for a walk. Your four cats. Casting no, rain. Like Nobody likes a wet cat. You know what I'm saying? I went to the gym and I was, I was gonna... like, I don't care. I'm on the stairmaster and I'm sweating out fish. <laughs> Anywho, whew, now I'm sweating. And I'm like spitzing. Speaking of spitzing, we have that large water leak that happened in alcohol. <laughs> Spitzing is like you're sweating. Like, oh, there's a piece of drizzle. We can't do anything uh -huh. today. I'm going to sit on the couch. If I ever have too many drinks, this just gets redder and redder oh, and wow. redder. Oh. It's like a drunk it's like a But alas, we're 37 and struggling. Like when you ask me if I want the food and I say no, I'm lying. Right. I clearly want it. I just am trying not to feed the beast. You know what I'm saying? Are you having a baby? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my goodness. But I'm talking about the food baby. Sometimes it as a lady, you, you know. It's no. not that bad today, but it's I just meant, I didn't want to feed the beast, so that's what I call it, the beast. No. I like want to compare, hold on, here's my, Jenny. oh look, there we go, oh, I made so it cute. happen. I had a dream that I gave birth last night, but it wasn't a human, it was okay. like some sort of weird, I don't know, it could have been like a goat, I don't know what that <laughs> was. When I got divorced, my husband put up a cover photo on his Facebook that said milk was a bad choice. Oh. Oh. I mean, you oh. have, you have to give him props. Clever. That's hilarious. Oh, I never knew milk could sting Man. so much. So funny. Why did we divorce? <laughs> if you ever want to stalk any of your exes, make an account for your pets. Because if they oh. blocked you on your normal account, you can go through your pets. <laughs> I'm not saying... Jenny, do you have I'm, experience with this? I'm not saying that I've done this. I'm just saying that it's a possibility. <laughs> I got schmutz. Oh. Well, I got what like... that? <laughs> Are you drooling again? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wake up. Yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, if I just kind of wear my hair like this, you can't see it, right? No, no, we can't see it at all. Nope. Anyway, it's Monday. <laughs> Welcome to it. Yes, it is. <laughs> Ooh, I got dirty. Don't touch yourself on air. Powder gets everywhere. I still hate showering to this day, but I do it. Because that's Thank what you, you do when you're an adult. Wake up, shower, go to work. No and then way. I cross them off because I feel super accomplished. Like, what? I did something today. <laughs> So producer David says I have to wrap, so I'll make sure to put, yeah, that, put on that on the list, list. as well. Um, <laughs> traffic looks amazing. Have a great day. Hold my microphone. I've got a dog to pet. <laughs> it is right here. We have been plagued by a cricket oh, for what, a right week there. now? All right, moving along. So you will nudis, nudis, oh my gosh, I think I have noodles on the brain. I don't know where that came I from. Noodles. I don't want noodles. Anyway, at Champagne Boulevard. Sounds nice right now. And you're getting a very close up look. Hopefully I brushed my teeth well enough. Nobody wants to see me that close up this morning, so I'm gonna lean back here. Can you see it? 
Do you see where it is? I can't hear what you're saying anyway, but I'll show you. Is there no microphone again? Okay, tell me what you want to say. No, I'm just double checking it's working. Are we good? Because guess what? We've had microphone problems all day long. Tuning in, you're watching When News Anchors Dance. <laughs> A horror story <laughs> brought to you by us. Don't mess me up. Don't mess me up. Okay. Super califragilistic, expialidocious. Super califragilistic, expialidocious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's like, yes, please move on. Two, there it three, is. four, get Why it, are my get it, moving work like it, this? work it. I like the way you work it, right. no diggity. Da, 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 da. Anyway, well, I like the way traffic is shaping up. All we are is dust. I'm well, I can't sing, clearly. I, you guys I don't know the song by Kansas? You're <laughs> welcome, people. It's easier than trying to pronounce the word worsh, worshashashas. There's a peacock on the road here, so uh, watch out for that. There's a cow on the road, so please be careful there. This is what my life has been reduced to. Reminder, you're wasting your life away. Reminder, you've accomplished nothing. The final weather, or er, it's, it's not weather. Do you guys ever notice the more people you meet, they're younger than you? Where are all the <laughs> old people? <laughs> not being born and being young and just so supple and plump and non-wrinkled, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Ah, uh, your traffic looks good. <laughs> My butt when I'm aging, low, gray, flat, <laughs> real flat and blocks the sun. How do you come up with this stuff, Jenny? I don't know. My brain is super weird. Mm -hmm. If I nap, I am telling you stay out of my way. Stay do away. not speak to me because uh -huh. I will cut you like a knife. <laughs> That is true. Spread kindness like an infectious cold, which is a weird way to put it these days. Well, speaking of knowledge, I'm going to drop some on you right now. Jane Dobre, welcome to your Piątek, which is good morning. Welcome to your Friday in Polish. If you're on the hunt for some, you know, gołąbki, pierogi, bigos, all the Polish staples, you're probably not going to find them. They're really hard pressed to be found in San Diego. Smacznego, na zdrowie, all that good stuff. Go get yourself some piwo today. Give you a little Polish lesson to say happy birthday. Wszystkiego najlepszego z okazji. There's a song that we sing as well. Our Spanish speakers, maybe Feliz Cumpleaños, Madre Leche. What is it? Mama Leche? Hey, who's got two thumbs and is going to deliver a perfect traffic report right now? This girl right here. Do not rap me. This is a great television moment. I was going to say something else, but I forgot. Back to you. Just a reminder to turn off our microphones when we're not talking. It's the final <laughs> traffic. <laughs> da -da -da. Okay, anyway, it is the final traffic. <laughs> There's nothing happening back wow. to you. I'm serious. Go. <laughs> Goodbye. Still ahead here. After all that, we would. Do you ever like black out while you're talking? And I'm like, what was yeah. I saying? Oh my gosh, I want you so bad. No, it's just you. It's oh, okay. just you. <laughs> That's why you go out and walk your cats. Oh my gosh, uh, the week is almost over for some of us, not for all. Get your butt out of here. Like, oh, I, there you go. Yep, there you go. There's the cat. I apologize to the viewers for the early morning cat butt, but that's what happens when your kitties love and miss you. Oh my goodness, get out of my face. This is payback for all the times you wake me at two in the morning. Pickle! Oh, she's still so sweet. She loves her mama. <laughs> Not every story that I do is going to be great. In fact, some of them are going to be pieces of but not today. Oh no, this is gonna be a great story. I'm just warning you, there's gonna be a lot of poop, okay? Where the magic happens. She's from New York, I'm from Chicago, so you've got deep dish, first thin crust. New York style crust, like a thin, crispy. Can you get an authentic Chicago dog in San Diego without the meat? Looks like I've got some investigative journalism to do. Mm. I give it two thumbs up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that curse was an ode to the chef, by the way. Oh, that's good. Oh my god. Eat it. Just okay. All right. <laughs> I'm about to throw a party in your plants.
What? I said plants. I'm not sure which is more terrifying. My face on this mask ah! or the year 2020, which has been a true horror story. Jenny Dreadful, your ghostess with the mostest. Stay with us. Ah, what was that? I got you, didn't I? Ta-da! Doggone it. This is not the one I want. Hold on. Now that's what I'm taco-ing about. I'm gonna dress up in a giant inflatable costume and terrorize people on the beach. You wanna have a dance party with me on the beach? Yes! You do? Yeah. Oh my gosh, show me your best moves. Sorry! <laughs> You're so cute, I love you. <laughs> I saw, I saw, I saw. I can't breathe. Are you guys a couple? No. No, we just met. Wow, do you think I helped you guys meet? You could say that. Is this where the single people hang out? I'm here to get everyone in the mood for Valentine's Day. You're making this so awkward. Are you guys gonna do a romantic walk on the beach together? Uh, that's my mom, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's the year 2020, and things suck. Are San Diegans grateful, or are they Grinches? Howdy, hoody, woody. How's it going? Are we appropriately socially distancing? What are you grateful for this year? My life. Just trying to see if you're in the holiday spirit or oh, not. Oh, I'm always in the holiday spirit. No reason to be grumpy. Are you grateful or a Grinch this year? I'm grateful this year. So 2020 hasn't made you salty? That's a loaded question. Are you feeling the grind of 2020? Maybe you can try some salt therapy. No, not this salt. This salt. It's not. It's, good. it's not that strong. Raise your try it. you're so stressed when you work with me? I'm like so pleasant. Some people might disagree, but they're lying. I'm not generally like an angry person, but between quarantine and the weird stuff that my photographer makes me do. What? I am full of rage. Choose your weapon. remotely from the beach. He doesn't have his mask on. It's fine. Uh, look, uh, I noticed that you really cleaned up for us, Louise. Thank you. Well, I'm um, just here to give you a hand. With the lactobacillus in an ale yeast, so it's tart. It's almost champagne-like. Hold on. Lactobacillus? Explain to the people. I mean, I know what it is, obviously, but tell them. They don't know. Yeah, lacto, lactobacillus is the bacteria that's in yogurt. Are you an enophile? Do you like a little enophilia in your life? Am I intimidating you with my large words? Just take a sip and let me explain. Today I'm taking you inside of Sip Wine and Beer in Escondido where the owner wants to make wine tasting less intimidating, more inclusive, and well, fun. Cheers! To beer or not to beer, that is the question. Oh. And if for some reason you just couldn't finish all your beer, this place will take old booze and turn it into new brew right here in Barrio Logan. Rebrew Spirits is a sustainable micro distillery that makes gin, whiskey, and my personal favorite, vodka, out of craft beer that's gone bad that otherwise would have gone into the waste. Let's see how it works. Bootstrap Kombucha is located in a very inconspicuous spot in uh, Middletown, so I'm gonna help him on and get some attention. Oh. Get in there, baby. Are you good? Come get your kombucha. Plenty to do. Watch me go. <laughs> Made it. So many activities. Did we just become best friends? Hey, I like big putts and I cannot lie. And turns out, so do a ton of other people. <laughs> Clap for me. <laughs> they tell me everything is on tap. Things are about to get lit. Piggy, 
jiggy piggy, can't you see? Sometimes your frisk gets satisfied me. And I just love y'all vegan brat. And that is why they opened up this spot. No tourist spot, but cute. Feeding habits. As a whole, they'll eat practically anything. What? The sign says don't feed the animals. It didn't say anything about me. You season everything along with don't do not. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I was gonna slap do it. Do not you slap it. Yeah. You never slap it. You all, generally at the burger, you flip it once. You never slap it because or push on it because it just pushes all the, the juice out. So when we're doing a pub style burger, it's like a no touchy. No touchy. Uh. My entire um, life I've been slapping the meat and I didn't yeah. know it was wrong. It's, in certain situations, it's absolutely wrong. Okay. Oh my gosh. So just, just send it. There you send go. Send it. Yeah, send it. There you go. Boom. Yes. There you go. Perfect form. <laughs> okay. Fresh seafood right off the pier. Isn't that right, buddy? Yep. So good. Stop loafing around. Nah, I'm just kidding. I was trying to get a rise out of you. Get it? Because bread. Come with me as I enter the Cat Palace of Pacific Beach, where rescues are treated like royalty. This coffee shop is not only getting you caffeinated, it is helping build and support the local community and its creators. Let's go check it out. Hi, guys! Hi. I'm at Mud Lily, about to reenact a scene from Ghost. Maybe. Not really. I'm here to take a pottery class. I'm about to take a walk on the wild side. Actually, that's not really possible right now, but I will be soaring over the savannah. Watch me go. Is it tickling? It's so tickling! It's so gonna take your mic. This is, oh my god. Come to the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just left me. Looking to relax a little? Want to spend time with things that are much older than you? Yeah, you do. Next up, taking you inside of the San Diego Zoo to meet the Galapagos tortoises. We'll be right back. You like that, buddy? Feels nice, huh? Things are about to get real wild up in here. Mm -hmm. Taking you inside of the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. So we'll just go right behind this bar right here. Hi, honey. Sorry, come here, come here, honey. Come on, come on, honey. You want it? There you go, love. She was so like gentle. Come here, honey. Sit. Give paw. Time for another local adventure, you say? I'll pack in my bag. <laughs> Not really dressed for this, but uh, let's suit up. Anytime we have to do a story related to sports, obviously they come to me because I'm the most athletic one on the staff. So today I'm learning about the sport of pickleball. I'm sharing a story of redemption. A story that wants to prove no matter how many times you fall, you should get back up and try again. I'm talking about my story of falling on my You may remember not too long ago when I crashed my bike on live television. Cue the clip. Yes, you can. No, yes, you can. Because I don't know how to stop. Positive words lead to positive actions. I'm a good rider. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? I will send you home to school. Well then, go to your room. I figure I should take this opportunity to get in a little training before I sit down and talk with them. Do not call it a comeback. The roller skating culture has been around for ages. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So today I'm about to meet with not one, but two knockouts. And I'm not referring 
referring to their looks. I'm talking about their biceps and their business skills. Oh, yes, because this is my money maker. <laughs> We're continuing to shop small and support local businesses. So today, I'm checking out Replay Toys in North Park, where I guarantee ya, you're gonna feel like a kid again. Oh, hello there. You probably weren't expecting to find me in this empty cargo van. Hmm. If you ask a millennial what brunch is, they'll probably mutter something about avocado toast, mimosas, and Instagrammable bathroom selfies. I am tickled pink to be checking out one of the newer brunch spots in San Diego, Breakfast and Bubbles in Hillcrest. Female-owned ice cream scoop shop, Kula, was recently named Best Ice Cream by San Diego Magazine readers. Ooh, no, I looked good, it's mine. Oh, hi there. I didn't see ya. So, I'm in Little Italy today where I am eating local, I'm drinking local. Mmm, mmm. Did I mention you can watch the Super Bowl right here on CBS 8? Mm. Is that a big enough bite? Perfect. <laughs> Did you feel like super awkward now? No, perfect. <laughs> I would have felt more awkward if you would have given the dainty bite. Like, no. Mm -mm. Like, really? <laughs> there are no dainty bites when it comes to Mexican food. Exactly. Israel from linebacker. To what, what do we say, a taco slinger? Not really, restaurant oh. owner. Not all heroes wear crepes, they make them. Today I'm in San Marcos, about to meet with a female chef who studied at the prestigious Le Cordon Bleu. What she said, over in London, and now she owns Delightful Chocolat. A taste of Thailand right here in San Diego. This is a family owned business that just celebrated 10 years in Point Loma. The owner was born and raised in Thailand and she wants to share her culture with you. Swadika, welcome to Swanee House of Thai. Oh, yummy. And if you think you can win over my heart by giving me this bouquet, you are wrong. It takes more to win over my heart. That is why Chef Alberto and I are gonna make this Valentine's Day bouquet with Tokyo hot chicken. Smoked meat, vintage cars. Wait, where do I start? How about I begin with the man behind the meat? Strong R. Alberto Morreale. Morreale, a good Texas man. Uh, well. <laughs> hey Jennifer, looking great, but you're slightly underdressed. Oh, okay. Is this better? Uh, your outfit's great, but the accent sucks. <laughs> oh Jennifer, you have to look at our spotted dick. One of our most favorite sponge puddings here. Spotted dick. <laughs> Selena, no, no, Jennifer! Oh, no! oh no, I put it in the wrong cup! <laughs> oh, what a horrible way to start the interview. Okay, I didn't mean to realize I needed to give that much direction. <laughs> we don't know who you're dealing with. Ekin Feckle Tart. Eckle Feckin. Ekin Eckle Feckin Tart. Eckle Feckin Tart. Tart. That's the Chicago coming out. Yeah. Tart. So how does one end an afternoon tea? What do we say to one another? Oh, what a lovely way to spend an afternoon. I can't say it, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I would rather you didn't. And um, please don't do the accent. Tatoes! Tatoes! Uh, no, it's Tatoes. Wait, it? were you doing an Irish accent? She was trying to do an Irish accent because they're, oh. they're from Ireland. Cheetos. Yes. They would say Tatoes. 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 Yeah, let's just give up. Tatoes. <laughs> I'm at the family Christmas tree farm in Santee, and I'm going to find me the perfect tree. Let's go. I'm Pine. Are you Pine? Just the tree of us. It is the age-old debate that has divided society for decades, that has caused irreparable rifts amongst normally loving couples, and that has caused the demise of one too many a friendship. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Today I'll be using a series of scientific tests to determine which is the superior pet. First up, we start with Team Cat. Jenny representing with her adopted kitties Pickle and Potato. Clearly trying to change that crazy cat lady stereotype with a stylish cat pouch sweatshirt. Meow. But up in the North County, there's something else getting you buzzed with a little help from singer song farmer Jason Mraz. Hi, Jason. Hey. Do we have cold brew on the tap? Mm. Drink your coffee. Okay. 
This is our first meeting together. It is. Yeah. Isn't this super exciting? Now, obviously, I wanted to make a good impression on this soccer star, so I started things off by comparing our calves. This interview is starting off well. It's a weird interview. This calf's not as big. Okay, moving on. I thought I'd get to know a more personal side of Landon with some rapid fire questions. And go! Hamburgers or hot dog? Hamburgers, for sure. Do you call them sneakers or gym shoes? Sneakers? Who calls them gym shoes? My cat daddy knows how to treat his kitties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We just like stare at this little thing. I miss when my children were this big. Yeah. You know, Netta, you blink and then all of a sudden they're up. adults. Your and cat I, children. I don't yeah. know where the time goes. Uh, How many Jenny Milks do you want to tell you this story? Hmm. Well, there's only one Jenny Milk. There's, yeah. Come <laughs> on. I think it's safe to say we can all only handle one. Well, today I bring you a story of gas emissions. And no, I'm not talking about the gas from your car. Now, normally when you let out a toot, you don't want to bring much attention to yourself, unless you're a mom from South Carolina. Do you need a little inspiration for your morning hike? Y'all going on morning hikes? Listen to this. A Missouri woman who lost both her legs wow. in an accident just climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. A javelin thrower from Poland recently took home a silver medal at the Tokyo Olympics, but she didn't hold on to it for very long. Maria Andrychik auctioned off the medal for 125,000 bucks, using the funds to help an infant receive a life-saving heart surgery. Listen, I don't want you to freak out, <laughs> don't panic or anything, but debris from a rocket is falling down to earth and we have no idea what it's going to hit. Oh boy. Okay, calm mm -hmm. down, <laughs> let me explain. Two-year-old girl is now the youngest member of the high IQ Society Mensa. Ooh. Look at her. LA native Cash Quest has an IQ of 146. Chores are always easier when you're dancing, right? Well, that could not be more true for one grooving granny over in Russia. A group of restaurant servers who got creative to help a visually impaired diner celebrate her birthday. Take a look at their sweet gesture. Watch as hundreds of sheep quickly form a heart. Yes. That is oh. super, super cool. An Australian farmer had this idea to pay respects to his aunt who died after he found out he couldn't go to her funeral because of pandemic restrictions. America is a beautiful place, right? But like all beautiful things, there are flaws. So today I'm going to tell you which U.S. states are the grossest, not according to me, but according to the company Zippy Up. Getting naked and taking to the skies for a good cause. This Nebraska man is now the world record holder for the most naked skydives in 24 hours. Mm. <laughs> After strong winds damaged a glass bottom bridge. This is terrifying. Take a look. You can see the guy look closely clinging Whoa. to the guardrails. No. Do you see it? <laughs> hey, the pandemic has taken a toll on our social lives and maybe you're a little rusty when it comes to holding a conversation. Well, now people are renting friends to help them revamp their social skills. The company's called, oh, I love Jackbox games. They're allowing you to rent friends. Here's how it works. Is this petty or is it perfect? A Chicago couple getting some attention for drafting an invoice for people who didn't show up to their wedding. Mm. Here's the story. A San Diego dog getting pretty popular <laughs> online. Her name is Watchdog Luna. She's known for her stunner shades. <laughs> Flashy watch, her painted nails, <laughs> and hanging her whole front leg That's out of her so owner's car window. <laughs> That's adorable. Listen to this. Tel Aviv, Israel is requiring pet owners to submit their dog's DNA so they can be tracked down if they don't pick up their oh, poop. Oh my, okay. I mean, the if people don't pick it up, it's a, it's a crime. <laughs> the new Roomba has learned how to avoid any surprises left on the floor mm. by our four-legged mm. family members. Hazard. You can get, where was this for me this weekend? <laughs> oh boy. You can no. get paid for going number two. I had stomach issues this weekend. Mm. An eco-friendly toilet at a South Korean university is paying people digital currency oh. for doing their business. <laughs> a spiteful child support payment ends up helping others. Well, that's good news. A man in Virginia dumped 80 thousand pennies in front of his daughter's home as a final payment. Well, hey, the next time you're in Florida, beware of the drain gators. A Palm Bay police officer took a selfie and found that a gator crawled out of the drain behind her. Ugh. Fisherman in North Ugh. Carolina just reeled what? in a fish with What some is that? That's a one happy fish. That's <laughs> what that is. <laughs> this fish has human-like teeth and it's actually common for 
sheep's head fish like this one to have a mouthful of molars. A man diving off the coast of Massachusetts now has a story to tell that sounds like it's straight out of the Bible, except unlike Jonah's three days in the belly of a whale, Michael from Provincetown was in there just under a minute. Oh Ew. boy. Ew. How do you, how do you paint right over that? Oh, mm, I, well, I don't know. That's a big one, too. <laughs> uh, the landlord apparently painted over the roach. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Pop that baby up. Uh, one woman is using the arrival of these bugs to her advantage. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, look at this. No, she's not eating them. She's <laughs> taking pictures of them. The girl got a big surprise while one slingshot ride, a seagull smacked oh, yeah. her in the oh. face. Yes, oh, my gosh. Wow. Ah! Oh. Apparently, alarm clock sales. People are buying alarm clocks? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm excited to chat with this next guest. Not that I don't love all my guests. You walk up in the studio, we're talking shots. Yes, yeah, so we are talking about shots, 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 shots. Roll my prompters so I can keep reading and not just singing. The world's sexiest vet. I want you to grab your paper towel because you're going to be drooling. I really need you to pause. And pay attention right meow because this next guest is one cool cat. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. I'm about to talk with executive producer of the documentary series Cat People. This is not the first time a man has just blatantly ignored me. I'm going to say it. Randolph, you, right you can hear me, right? <laughs> we also want to talk about... Um... <laughs> Friendly, friendly events. I give you no options yeah, to uh -huh. ignore me or forget <laughs> me. I'm not going to let y'all forget me. Trust me. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye now.